but because he said they will come a time when they will not preach or admonish on divine days, it will all be lost. And that's exactly what's happened. It's all come. That's the mystery of iniquity, people. So there again, now, when, when, when uh, Mr. Clark said, Luke 21, 36 says, when Christ said, watch and pray always that you be counted worthy, that he said, that's not talking to the body of Christ. That's talking to the Jews, Israel. Okay, now, as I close here, I'm going to show you what Paul said. And Paul used the exact same thing that Christ said. But yet, they're saying the Gospels, or Christ's teaching, is for the lost sheep. Well, there's a flock that he ain't called yet. He even tells you in Matthew 21, I'll take my vineyard from you, Judah, and I'll give it to a spiritual nation. That's the body of Christ that will bring the fruits during their seasons. Seasons is gross, people. See, they will bring forth fruit during their divine days, which are the same days spiritually. They are God's Sabbath and his holy days. Now, so I'm going to show you, and then we're closing. Paul said in Ephesians, now remember, Ephesians is part of the 13 books he said that belong to the body. So we're supposed to eat of this, right? Okay, well, let's see. They have no idea because they don't know what these words mean. Okay, let's go to Ephesians right here. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Now, I'm going to show you. you you've got to study, right, and divide now. Watch now. Look what Paul says to the... Uh, church or the assemblies at Ephesus here. Everybody knows about all of this. He said, stand, that's histome. Remember, we were supposed to stand and preach the gospel in season and out, the same word. Therefore, having your Lord's about uh, girded in truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, that's Christ, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, that's Christ, above all, taking the shield of faith, the faith, uh, wherewith ye shall histomay, ye shall st be able uh, to quench all the darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation is he's our head. Uh, uh, and the sword of the spirit, the word of God, rare it is, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now look what he's saying. Praying always with all prayer and supplication of the Spirit and watching thereunto, command here, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now, now notice right here, praying always. You see this right here, people? Now, right here is the King James translation. If I go just to the King James, and here it is, Here's the, here's the King James translation without the Psalms. Right here. Right here it is. Praying always. Okay. Now. Now, people, rightly divide the word of truth. If you, you can read this right here, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And you're, uh, this English word always, you're going to think, means 24-7, seven, seven days a week, all the time, praying all the time. We pray all the time with all prayer and stuff. That's, what you, that's the English. That's, that's our Western uh, teaching from the West, but that's not the Greek text, people. What do you mean, Larry? Well, this is what I'm saying. You've got to rightly divide. You cannot rightly divide English. The Bible wasn't broke, New Testament in English. There was no such thing as an English language. All right, now, watch. Let's go back to the Greek text. Or, or let me go back to the King James with the Strong's number. Here it is. Look now, people. Praying always. Now, right here, praying always, you got one. Look at here. My goodness gracious, Larry, what in the world is this talking about? Always in the English, but in the Greek, there's one, two, three Greek words. 
There is three Greek words in A-L-W-A-Y-S in English. Are you kidding me? Well, that's just one English word. Yeah, but there's three Greek words. What are they? This is dia, means the channel or through. This is all pos. It does not mean everything. It means the all, pos. When he's the savior of all men, that don't mean he's the savior of every man. It means all. It means the all means the ones that believe. That's the all. But notice, through all time, karas, preach the word in karas, in season, out of season. But we're to pray during the, uh, the karas, the moeds. This is not uh, seven days a week, people. That now, see, if you don't know this, now, if it said, pray always, or at all, to, uh, pray all, if this, if this Greek word was chronos, then that would be chronos being a space of time, all the time. But this word is different from chronos. Notice, it means an occasion that is set, it's a proper time, always there, the strong sky, but always is three Greek words. It means opportunity, remember, uh, inopportune is out of season. Opportune is when Paul said, pray uh, Eucharist, that is the opportune time. That's the proper time. And it means convenient. It means due season, due. Why? Why? Now notice that time, while when you compare it to 5550, that's Kronos. Kronos is a set period of time. It's just time. Inside Kronos is Karas, Moed, Moedim, in the plural. Now, see, everybody thinks that in the Greek or in the New Testament, there is no appointed times. That was all for the Jews in the Old Testament. Really. If, I mean, all you got to do is right click in the New Testament and Karas is used by Jesus Christ by every one of the apostles it's used over 85 times in the New Testament people 85 times Paul is using it now watch now because these guys said that what Jesus spoke about Luke 21:36 was meant to Israel, but not to the body of Christ. Well, here's the body of Christ. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, Rodney, and uh, Scotty Clark, uh, Mr. Breaker, all of you people that are you praying on all appointed times, the Lord's Prayer? Are you praying on all Quran's times? Paul says, Pray through the dia all appointed times with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit because we're born in the Spirit. This is not speaking in tongues. It is in the Spirit that there. We're, we are spiritually, we're led by the Spirit. It's not praying in the flesh. And then the Spirit is, uh, it's the Lord. It's thy will. Spiritually, thy will. It's not our will. It's nothing to do with us. It's God's Spirit. His will will become... Uh, in earth, coming to man, in earth as it is in heaven. All that. His kingdom will come. That's where the power of the glory was. The spiritual kingdom is the power of the glory, not the earthly kingdom or Satan's kingdoms. So right here, praying always, all time. There's three words here. Now watch, people. I keep saying this, but I'm going back to Christ. I'm going back to Luke 21, 36, what Mr. Scott says, we, that's not to us, that's to Israel. Yes, it's to Israel first and then to us because we come into being followers of what he taught the circumcision. Okay, right here uh, in Luke 21, 36. Here we are. Luke, Luke 21, 36, which uh, they have no idea because it's the same as in the King James. Guess what's going to happen here, people? 
right here. 36. Well, look what he says. Christ says. Paul used watch in that prayer. That's a comparative mood. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Uh-oh, is that exact? Now, I'm going to go to the regular King James Bible. Right here. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Did you realize that in uh, Ephesians 5, 16, it started the same way. Paul says, pray, watch and pray always. It's the same Christ said, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye be counted worthy to escape the things that shall come to pass, come into being, and his to may stand before the Son of Man. Now, so Scotty says this is not for us. We only need to pay attention to Paul's teaching. Well, watch, I just showed you in the Greek in 516, what it meant. Well, let me show you in the Greek what this means. Let's go back to the King James of the Strong. Watch ye uh, therefore and pray always. Here we are. One, two, three Greek words right here. Same as in uh, Ephesians 516. In all cross times. Same exact words. People. Now, let me ask you a question, Mr. Scott and Mr. Rodney. Are you doing, these are commands by uh, Christ, and Paul is commanding us the same thing, to pray uh, at all times with all prayer and supplication through all times. Are, we, are you doing that? This is exactly what Christ told uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel to do. This is exactly what Paul said uh, to the body of Christ to do. This is the same gospel. This is the same teaching. There's nothing, there's no different gospel, people. Now, I have proved everything to you according to the New Testament scripture, whether it's Paul's teaching or Christ's teaching or John's teaching or Peter's teaching. You see, if you, if whoever's viewing this video, uh, if you, if you study this video with these scriptures and you listen to their video, you're going to see how, and this, uh, and this whole thing, all of uh, out there, people, is iniquity. The biggest part of it all, because not because I am saying it's iniquity, it's because Paul said 2,000 years ago, the mystery of iniquity is already here. Jesus Christ said, before Paul said, was Paul was it was revealed to that to Paul through Christ on the road to Damascus. Christ is the one that taught Paul the revelation of Jesus. He Paul was not taught by a man. We have to be revealed to us by the Holy Spirit, not by man. But the point I'm saying is Jesus Christ said that many false prophets and false Christ will stand up and deceive many. Because the mystery of iniquity will abound. That word means to increase and grow worse and worse and worse. And the love of many will wax cold. That word love is agape, the love feast that Christ had with, with his apostles on Passover, which we are to celebrate on the night he was arrested in a love feast because his blood... Uh, has not washed us all past, present, and future. What they even say that, all these preachers preach that. Paul tells you in Romans 3 that once we repent, our blood, our sins have been, our, all of our past sins have been removed. So what do we do about sins that we repent and we, the blood continually, present, actually washes? But it didn't wash all past, present, and future because we still have to repent and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us because we will trespass because we, now, we can, but Paul reveals, it's, we establish the law of faith, but now faith is, all things without faith now to the believer is sin. Not the grand rest of the law of Moses, but what if you don't believe? Now, to the believer, if we lose faith 
then that is breaking the law of faith. That is imputed to us as sin. That's why we established not Moses' law, the law of faith. By the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may that spirit which is your spirit as we traded the scripture one another, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and soon coming King. Amen.